you know, what I'm, what I'm looking at now, Josh is like Amazon spread verticals, right? You could sell this week's 1900 put and buy the 1890 and bring in double what you could on Netflix. Nah, I don't, but I don't, I don't like Amazon right now though. How so? I, Amazon has way more headwinds currently than fucking Netflix. I feel like with um, coming into the holiday season, which is great, but they just had that minimum wage thing. And then something just came out with their working conditions and stuff. And like, I've just even been seeing it with the price action with Amazon lately, you know, it's just not like Facebook's kind of done stuff similar, but it's just kind of not really, it's, it's being weird. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like it for some reason. I think it's going to have one of these, you know, random drop to 1860 in the morning type of one day. You think so? I th Well, not, it's not like I'm forecasting, but I think the potential and likelihood, like, right here right now is much higher on amazon than netflix but come on man they just raised minimum wage to 15 bucks that makes everybody happy right that's fucking insane dude <laughs> that's insane. That was laced with sarcasm if you couldn't tell bro oh, that's sick. <laughs> just I, dude i was talking about it because i went I, I talked about this like a year ago and i went on like i went through the filings to show people like because a bunch of fucking you know softy liberals no, <laughs> they were complaining about <laughs> the minimum wage with walmart and i was just and like people like oh well dude like what's one dollar you make all of this money it's like with how many employees they have it's like if you raise the minimum wage one fucking dollar it costs them like 50 million 100 million dollars an hour now times that by 24 hours a day 30 days a month you know 365 yeah. days a year it's like billions of dollars for them where it's just like that changes a lot of things. And isn't Amazon's change tiered? Like if mean? you're already making 15 bucks an hour, it's going to go up to like 22.75 or something like that. Jesus. Like like they set the bottom to 15, but, but if you're already I, there, you get a bump. But I know what he's doing. Think about What's it. that. You don't have any speculation as to why they would do this. I mean, there's a lot of speculation. I mean, I'm curious to hear yours. <laughs> I, I think there's, I think there's only one reason and one reason only. Let's hear it. Walmart. Again. You think so? Yeah. They're trying to just raise the pressure on them. That's it. There's they Walmart's trying to compete with them. Walmart even bought like this like fat lady clothes yesterday to like <laughs> Walmart's trying to buy brands <laughs> to prevent them from being sold on Amazon now, right? So think about it, because if Walmart buys this shit and it appeals yeah. to customers, that shit's never gonna go on Amazon. Now, Amazon has less essentially, but so Walmart, and then Walmart's been making a lot of traction against Amazon in terms of e-commerce and this, the whole online thing. But Walmart, I think they're trying to raise this so that now it just changes, they burn money. They're gonna think about how much money they're spending now that's like it's like a six buck seven buck an hour per employee that's insane absolutely insane it's wild I mean, if that could set a precedent or standard you know and if they could start getting literally switch the labor demand for walmart as well as just public perception of how people view walmart even down to lobbying and politics trying to explain how a company of this scale and size clearly has the means to raise <laughs> the wages like that then it, it, it opens up Pandora's box for Walmart because can Walmart do that? Yes, even if they raise it by $1, but the marginal effects on a company that already has fucking awful margins or operates on thin margin, you know? Yes. Yeah. That could be a game changer. That's why I think that's my, I, that's the only logical explanation I could think of as to why Jeff Bezos would want anybody and why even investors could even remotely see this as something positive besides fucking, you know, making social media liberals happy that we're communists. I don't know. <laughs> so everybody short Walmart long puts right now. Uh, I don't, the, I don't know. <laughs> Walmart I'm just mess. I'm messing with you. Walmart is the most resilient fucking company. It's great. I remember, I think some people were probably in here. Remember, I think it was like 2000 when they had, is it 16? 
it had like the biggest drop ever in like 20 years on Walmart right here. Yeah, no, 2015. Like, I didn't think they were going to bounce back from that. And even like their earning, and even then, like, look at the time, you know, this is even correlates with like Amazon really starting to get a lot of the market share. And they were saying, yeah, our demand is slowing because of, you know, brick and mortar and online, but they, they switched it. They're kind of pulling a, in Adobe. Are you familiar with what Adobe did in the last like 10 years? Anybody? Nobody knows what happened with Adobe? No. Mm. They, um, no, a lot. Think about Adobe. When like, when you first heard about Photoshop, how did you buy it? You downloaded it. No, you didn't. You didn't? Mm -mm. You used to buy a fucking disc. You buy, yeah. You'd buy a disc, it'd have a key code on it, you'd enter in the key, and then people would crack it and share it and pirate it. That's how all of their products were. It was software. And they were getting pummeled. Like, eventually, as the new, you know, year came in, you know, this online stuff, even though they were going up, but it's kind of around here, yeah. I'm like, oh, nine, they dropped, but even then, 11, 12, People just weren't seeing the growth. Again, it was a $30 stock. Look at this ma massive run-up. They switched pretty much to SaaS. They went from a software seller to a SaaS provider, selling subscription services now to the same content. And like at one point, like quarter after quarter, their filings, it was like the old software stats, but then they started switching their whole entire business model towards software. So like it took them like six to eight months or even like a year and it cost them a lot of money. They were reporting loss after loss as, you know, software revenue, you know, the segment from there would go down, but then slowly the, the subscriptions would go up. It cost money to implement everything, but essentially it was, it's a huge business model change. But by the time it was completed, it literally 10 X their profits. So that's, that's what Walmart has done. That's why I'm, I think Walmart is definitely in the crosshairs with this, but it's still very Walmart to fucking, you know, don't, don't underestimate people. I've learned that in life. Crazy motherfuckers. That's true. <laughs> I'll give you that. So yeah, that's the, that's the long answer as to why I don't like, or I'm scared about the Amazon credit spread in this case. <laughs> <laughs> 